All righty, it's been a while since I've come up with a video, but today I'm going to go over my personal opinions and perspectives on how to have a great day at Canada's Wonderland in 2022. There are a lot of changes going on this season with so many Canadians not being able to afford to cross the border, a lot of people concerned with money, um, and just the fact that season passes have been carried over for two years. Wonderland is extremely packed. I've been waiting to create this video because I've been looking for trends, I've been looking for specific days, certain things, and I've gathered a lot of information um, that I think could help a lot of families and a lot of people who are struggling to find the good days to visit Wonderland. The ultimate question is, what is the best day to visit Canada's Wonderland? Honestly, there isn't a best day currently that I've noticed to visit Canada's Wonderland, I'd have to say the long weekend seems to be the slowest that I've ever seen the park this season, but that is still busy. Um, my second recommendation would be rain days, but I've also noticed that Wonderland still draws a crowd on rain days now this season. That's how busy and that's how powerful that season passes this season. So my personal advice from what I've seen is night visits. Canada's Wonderland seems to really start to die off around 6, 7 p.m. for some reason. It really feels like families are going early, leaving the park earlier than they used to in previous years, and lineups are not that long at the very end of the night. The last two hours of Canada's Wonderland this season seem to be the best time to be at the park. Not only does the really hot day start to cool off in that last two hours, but the crowds clear out. For some reason, anyone in Splashworks, what I would assume in most cases in previous years would start funneling into the lines no they actually go home from what i've been witnessing so it's really interesting the food lines all die down too it's just a really good time to be at canada's one in that last two hours that i've witnessed hopefully that doesn't change but it seems to be holding true so far you arrive at the park first thing 10 a.m sometimes 9 a.m everyone runs to leviathan my personal opinion and advice, go towards Behemoth, Yukon Striker, Mindbuster, Flight Deck, Time Warp, that entire side of the park. It is going to be dead. While everyone's trying to get their fast lane and head over to Leviathan in the first part of the day, you go on over to the Behemoth area, get your fast lane at the Slingshot booth. I don't know if any of you know that, but grab your, uh, your fast lane at Slingshot and then hit up that side of the park. And if you don't have fast lane, you're going to love it because the lines are going to be dead. Everything's going to be a walk on. So definitely hit up that side of the park if you're hitting there first thing in the morning. Um, do not wait until 12 p.m., 1 p.m. to eat. That is literally what 45,000 people on average a day at Canada's Wonderland are all doing um, <laughs> collectively. So eat at like 11, 11.30 or wait till around 3.30, 4. If you can't do that, then you are going to pay the price and have to wait in the lines. Now, let's say you can't do that and you do want to eat at 1 p.m. The best place to eat is the food festivals right now. The food festivals that Canada's Wonderland does most weekends during the summer. I think there's only a couple weekends where there won't. There is one currently going on until July 14th or 17th, one of the two. Um, the current one going on, which is the Canada Day Festival or Canada Festival, uh, you get to use your meal plan. You can use your meal plan at most of the booths in the food festival, and there is no lines ever, 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 ever. So if you don't want to wait an hour for your food at these regular um booths because you have all season dining or a day pass for dining go to the food festivals it's better quality food and it's again on the meal plan and third no line so that's my honest uh, advice to you guys in terms of that um I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, honestly, my third best advice, especially on really hot days, there's days where people are dropping like flies from not drinking enough water, is bring an empty water bottle. I don't know Wonderland's policy fully on water bottles. I know that they can be really strict depending on the guard you get entering the park. Some literally don't care and you can sneak in everything. I've seen families with picnics. And then you get some like me. Um, where I come in with my Tim Hortons iced coffee and I'm told to throw it out. Um, my honest advice, bring an empty water bottle. Uh, you can fill it up at drink stand stations with water. Um, some people fill it up with pop. I will never do that. Uh, I also never bring a water bottle myself, even though I always give this advice to everyone else. I have a drink plan, um, but definitely bring an empty water bottle. You will need it. Drink lots of fluids. When you're riding rides and walking around so much, you really need those fluids. 
Um, part of that advice is definitely invest in a drink plan. The drink plan is the best value for your buck at Canada's Wonderland. It's literally like $34, $35, and you get drinks all season every 15 minutes. Um, so definitely... Um, invest in that. Don't go to the Leviathan drink line on a busy day. That one is always super crowded. Go to the Mountain Refresh. Uh, essentially, it is located underneath Vortex's drop. It's a new one this year. It never has a line. It always has ice. Um, and they have brand new Coke machines that they're always restocking. So it's always got the best selection of drinks, always got ice. Um, and the machines are really well calibrated and no lines. So definitely check out that. Um, and you, if you're also really craving food and there is long lines and you don't want the food uh, festival food, head on into Splashworks and go to the Pizza Pizza. That one, from what I've seen so far, never has a line. So that's my personal recommendation in terms of food and rides. Um, my third recommendation is if you're only visiting once or twice, invest in fast lane. I know it's expensive and with inflation and the rising cost of gas and all that, it may not be within your budget, but time is money and fast lane is the most valuable thing you could purchase at Canada's Wonderland. On the daily basis, especially during that 6-hour period of really busy busyness at Canada's Wonderland, that fast lane gets you on essentially within like about 10 minutes max on most attractions now that they fixed a lot of the fast lane issues that they were having. A lot of people were wearing fake fast lane. That's been fixed. You cannot wear fake fast lane anymore. Um, and you definitely get on rides really quickly. With that also, with that advice, heading into 2023, the minute season passes go on sale, get a season pass for 2023 and fully load that pass if you're able to. And if you are, struggling financially wonderland does have payment plans available and if you get season passes right away from my understanding payment plans can range up to 12 months which really helps spread those payments over the months especially if you're a larger family looking to buy like six season passes at once a lot of people can't afford to drop two thousand three thousand dollars four thousand dollars depending on how the size of your family all at once so wonderland has those payment plans so rate right when those 2023 season passes go on sale around mid-August, end of August, get them and add in all season fast lane if you can. It is the best thing I have ever done and I'll never be able to go back and they sell out really quick. So get all season fast lane, get the all season dining, get the all season drink plan and get the parking. Wonderland with a fully loaded season pass and if you go four or more times, you are literally stealing money from Canada's Wonderland. I think that essentially wraps up my advice. Um, I would definitely say uh, if you're looking to go to the fireworks and all that, uh, you want to get a spot really early. So any of the fireworks, you want to go pick your spot really early. Maybe have someone sit down on the blanket and swap throughout the day. Some go ride rides. Uh, and definitely... Um, Go to Wonderland on a fireworks day expecting it to take an hour, an hour and a half to get out of the parking lot. <laughs> uh, it is going to always be that. There is no solution to that. The biggest problem actually comes from the city streets not being able to handle essentially 10,000 cars leaving at once. Uh, we were trying to look and figure out what was causing such backlog. We were like, the cars aren't moving in the parking lot. And then you look at Jane and Major McKenzie. And it's just an utter clogged artery, like no cars moving, and then thus cars cannot leave the parking lot. There's nothing Wonderland can do to resolve that situation. Um, and yeah, I think that's essentially it. If you guys have any questions about how or uh, any answers you want from me or opinions you want from me or advice you want from me, comment down below and I'll try and answer anything to the best of my ability. Um, I just wanted to get this video out there. I know it's been a really long time since I've released a video. I'm going to have a video coming out soon explaining why my channel has kind of died off a little bit. I wouldn't say died off. I just haven't been making videos and it all, a lot has to do with a, probably the biggest mental health struggle I've gone through in a really long time. Um, and I think I'm finally ready to open up about it. Um, but I just want to take a little bit more time to figure out how to do it because it is pretty triggering. Um, but yeah, uh, I really appreciate you guys sticking around and still watching the videos that I pump out once every two weeks right now. Again, I am so sorry that th there has been a delay in videos, but I promise you I have been going through it um, mentally, and I'm trying to come out the other end, um, in a much better shape. 
uh, in <laughs> mentally. So yeah, anyways, thank you so much. Um, hopefully you guys are having an amazing summer. Um, and hopefully I get to see you guys at the park. Have a good one. Bye.